Just look at it. One massive platter full of the most highly craved foods in the history of mankind. Everyone has cravings. Some people go for salty food. Some people go for sweet food. Some people even go for sour food. Me, I go for everything. In this food challenge, I attempt to consume the most highly craved foods ever, all piled on one massive platter. This is how it went. Game time. Can I get one of your eight piece meals, please? Just the chicken. Next stop. Can I get six chocolate ice glaze with sprinkles and six strawberry ice glaze with sprinkles, please? Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and get three Big Macs, please. Can I get those with no pickles and no lettuce on them? Three large orders of fries, two medium Diet Cokes, please. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, folks, we have a McDonald's along with our other goodies. Now it's time to make an epic platter of deliciousness. What I'm actually craving is in fast food. All these weeks of eating all this junk food. Man, spinach just sounds absolutely amazing right now. <laughs> Did you really think I was serious? Come on, people. Who craves spinach? Let's make our epic platter of deliciousness. This epic platter starts with two breakfast staples, donuts and pancakes, all stacked to perfection. I felt like it was time to add something essential, McDonald's french fries. Only 1,400 calories worth though. I didn't want to get too crazy. And since I was at McDonald's, I got some Big Macs and a cinnamon roll. Obviously the big challenge here is eating all this food. The other big challenge, trying to fit all of it on this platter. Anyways, I decided it was time for some fried goodness. So I threw in some KFC and some chicken nuggets. Oh, and about 900 calories worth of egg rolls. And then it was time for the centerpiece to this epic platter of deliciousness, mac and cheese. That was followed up with a little over a thousand calories worth of mozzarella sticks. You can't have a cravings platter without mozzarella sticks. And for the grand finale, I went with three massive cupcakes with extra sprinkles, of course, with a side of chewy, delicious Chips Ahoy cookies. 13,000 plus calories of deliciousness. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Everybody, can we just take a moment to just admire that? That is a massive platter of deliciousness. I know I've probably said that like 8 billion times in this video, but here we are, we have it, the massive platter of deliciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, we have McDonald's, we have fried chicken, we have egg rolls, we have amazing looking cupcakes, cinnamon rolls, cookies, mozzarella sticks, donuts, pretty much all the foods that you can possibly crave at one time. That being said, everyone, I think it's time to get into this food challenge. Without further ado, my friends, my family, members of the Electric Empire, this is the ultimate American cravings platter challenge. Let's do this. All this food, it just has my heart. Oh, and speaking of hearts, what you guys should go do down below right now is give that video a like, even though the like is a thumbs up button. Anyways, guys, smash that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because you'll get to see more food challenges just like this every single week. And if you still haven't liked the video yet, second opportunity because you can smash that like button if you poop today. I think we should start with breakfast first. I cannot eat those without syrup. We got our syrup. Now it's time to get this challenge started. Did you feel that? Did you, did you feel, I felt that. Gotta love those moments. All right, everybody. It's time to get this started in three, two, and one. Boom. Pancake sugar was water. All right, so far so good. I love breakfast food and speaking of more breakfast food, we gotta get into these, these donuts right here. Crispy cream. <clears throat> oh, it's good. Ooh. Man, those donuts are good. I don't think six is enough though. I really don't. I'm probably gonna regret this tomorrow, but you know, whatever. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And I love donuts, so like, why not? Watch the party. A donut party. Okay.
You guys see that? No pickles. <clears throat> All right, Big Macs are down. So far, it's going amazing, everybody. Uh, let's see. We should just start making our working on these uh, fries. Actually, though, forgot something super important here. I'm always coming into these challenges. I mean, I'm sure you guys definitely know what's coming. If you guys are new to the channel, we exoscerize around here. And if you don't know what exoceration means, well, you're about to find out. All you gotta do to exoscerize, just get some wild sauce, just like so. There we go. That was a really bad exit, but that's wild sauce. Sometimes it doesn't always come out looking pretty. Yeah, anyways, we got wild sauce, we got ranch, and I got some cheese over there. We'll just go for the let's go for the McDonald's ranch first. I just want to see what it tastes like because I haven't had it in a while. It's not bad. Let me try to enhance this viewing experience for you all. Maybe that's a little bit better. All right, well our fries are good, but now let's take it up a notch with some wild sauce. W! Oh! Gummy Mullet! <clears throat> I wonder if this is what it's like to be pregnant. Cravings everywhere. All right, everybody, well, our fries, we're all down. Everything so far is going great. This is quite a, a unique challenge, okay? Because I'm eating all my uh, cravings for the day. I feel like I need to address that right now. The elephant in the room, there's gonna be people out there that are gonna be like, why do you have sweet food right next to savory food? It's just weird. And everybody, have you not tried chicken and waffles before? No? Well, you should try it. It's absolutely delicious, okay? And that's not the only amazing sweet and savory creation. There are so many more. You know what, I'm, I could go on for days about it, but I, I'm just gonna let all my subscribers down below right now that know about the deliciousness of savory and sweet foods together. Just drop all of your favorites down below, okay? Just just do that for me, okay? Now I think I gotta move on over to our egg rolls right here with some McDonald's sweet and sour sauce. Mm. It's always so hard to open. Oh, I need to go back to the gym. I need to start powerlifting again. Goodness. Next on our list, we have some fried chicken. And I've done this before, and yes, it's extremely unnecessary, but I'm doing it again. We have fried chicken and cheese. I'm move that away from the donut, because that's one combination I won't indulge in. <clears throat> that was a big brush. Mm. Yep, I have the maturity of a 12-year-old boy. Okay, well, our uh, fried chicken is down. Now I think we gotta start making some headway on these uh, sweet items over here. Mm. You guys know, like, I'm always wanting to try a cinnamon roll and some cheese. Just kidding. Mmm. Team Crunchy Cookie or Team Chewy Cookie? I'm personally Team Chewy. Why did I get more dots? 
but just more smart decisions here on Eric's channel. Mm. Well, looks like we have three items left. We have these mozzarella sticks, mac and cheese right here, and then these three massive cupcakes. Sauce right here. Mozzarella sticks and wild sauce. Mm. See that? Not bad. Cheese on cheese. Pancakes and mac and cheese. Pancakes. Cupcakes and mac and cheese left. I'm just warning you all right now, this is not gonna be pretty. There's no appropriate way out there to eat a cupcake without getting frosting all over your face. So let's just get it out of the way. Up until this point of the food challenge, what I need you guys to comment down below is how much wood could a wood chuck chuck, could a wood chuck 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 wood. I'm just kidding, don't comment that. Even though there are gonna be people out there that will comment that. Comment down below, cupcake, if you guys are still with the flow of the video. And also, don't forget to stay tuned for what I got coming next week. Whew. And just like that, everybody, that has been another food challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna put the total calories consumed right up there, along with the total macros. Those will be right up there as well. And like I mentioned, I got something big coming next week. Alrighty guys, so we are at the mall right now. I'm gonna give myself two hours to take down as many calories as possible. Without further ado, it's time for the ultimate American Food Court Challenge. If you guys enjoyed this food challenge, the party does not have to end here. I'm gonna go ahead and put another food challenge similar to this one right along the sidebar, along with a food challenge playlist of mine that I also think you're gonna enjoy. Of course, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, don't, get, don't forget to like the video and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.